Espresso. Hacks, tips and tricks in under five minutes. Welcome to another episode of Espresso. Today, we'll be discussing how to use Midjourney, the text to image AI. To begin, visit midjourney.com and register for an account. Once registered, you'll be directed to a Discord server, and there you click on the boat icon located at the top left of the page. In the menu bar on the left, enter one of the newbie rooms. They're usually labeled as newbies followed by some number, and there you can browse through the creations of others. You can take a look also at the prompts others have used to generate their creations. You can click on the creations also to examine them in detail and even generate your own variations based on them. Now let's learn how to create a prompt. At the bottom, you'll find a line where you can enter an image command. After typing slash image, you enter one space, then appears the word prompt. And there you enter your desired command prompt. Let's start with something simple like the prompt talking to the chat GPT. When using a new account, you might be prompted to accept the terms and conditions like here. Once you accept them, you might encounter a situation also as we see it here, where no more free creations are available. If you decide to wait and not subscribe just yet, we'll show you what to expect anyway. After registering, repeat the same process. You enter one of the rooms. Once again, you can browse through the creations and then enter your prompt again. This time, you try talking to the chat GPT. Midjourney will take a little while to generate your images. Meanwhile, you see creations from other users passing by. Here we have some resemble monsters similar to the ones from Pixar. If you ever get lost and you can find your creations, you can use the search field on the top right. Just type in your account name and it will display your images for you. Once your images are finished, you can click on them to view them in detail and also open them in your browser by clicking on the bottom left corner beneath the images. From there, you can right click and save the images or use the buttons below them to generate variations or upscale the desired image. All right, that's it for today. Enjoy using Midjourney. See you next time.